Welcome to Crafts in the Park, uh, brought to you virtually from Florence Peterson Park this year. Uh, my name is Jasmine, I am the Summer Program Coordinator at the Whistler Museum, and we have partnered with Whistler Public Library to bring you Crafts in the Park. Each week we will post a list of supplies you will need, and if you can't get the supplies, um, you can register with the library and get your own little paper bag full of all the stuff you'll need every week. Thank you for joining us today for this week's craft, Hibernating Bears. Before we begin, the Whistler Museum would like to share some history and facts about bears in Whistler. Before learning about a famous bear in Whistler's history, we'll start with some facts about them. All bears mark and scratch trees. They do this to communicate with each other and to mark their territory. Some foods bears like to eat are plants like clovers, sweetgrass, and dandelions, which are all over the ski runs throughout the summer, as well as roots, berries, and salmon. When bears are full of food and the weather starts to get cold, they will hibernate through the winter. They do this because the cold weather and because food is harder to find. They will also find anywhere to sleep, whether it be a hollowed out tree, a cave, or even another bear's old den. One bear that is famous in Whistler is Teddy the Bear. In 1926, Teddy was found alone by Myrtle Phillip. She cared for Teddy after his mum couldn't be found. Teddy lived with Myrtle at Rainbow Lodge and quickly became popular with the guests. But when summer turned to fall, Teddy was getting too big to stay at the lodge, and he was unable to survive by himself. So, he was moved to Stanley Park Zoo in Vancouver. Myrtle would visit him whenever she went to Vancouver. She said that he knew his name and would come over to her whenever she called him. Now, with the facts out of the way, let's get on with the craft. First, start by cutting out all your trees and bears that you want in and around your bear's den. Color in the bears and trees any color you'd like. Next, take the paper bag and fold it in half. Cut along the fold, keeping the bottom of the bag to use as the den. If you don't have any paper bags, you can use anything with a backing, like a tissue box or a cereal box. Draw out the den's opening, making sure that your bears will fit inside. Open the bag and cut out the opening using the drawing as a guide. Secure the edges of the opening with your choice of tape, staples, or glue, anything that you have. Glue down the bears inside. I've folded these ones to look like they're lying down, but you can stick them down however you'd like. Lastly, arrange the trees and snow any way you'd like. If you don't have cotton lying around, you can also use bald white paper or cotton swabs instead. And you're done. Now your bears have a lovely den to stay in through the winter. Thank you for joining us for this week's Crafts from the Park.